Good morning students. Welcome to another lecture on William Collins Oath to Evening. So let us start. As oft he rises, he the reference is to the beetle. We talked about in the last stanza or you can say in the last lecture. So as oft he oft oft as oft he rises midst the twilight part he has twilight getting dark the path which has becomes you can which is which is becoming dark or which is become semi dark because it is the time of evening and the sun has almost set so twilight godhuli jise kehte hain hindi mein against the pilgrim pilgrim passer by rahagir born going in heedless hum heedless indifferent carefully without paying attention hum hum humming sound of the beetle now teach me made composed yes in this line evening is adjust as a composed made or as a siren maiden to be breathe breathe sing some uh, some some soft and strain whose numbers numbers music whose numbers stealing stealing spreading secretly chup cha felna through the darkening veil veil valley darkening getting dark <laughs> may not unseemly with its stillness suit its evening valley <coughs> still in shant <coughs> and musing slow i hail thy genial loved return for when the folding star arising shows hope his pale sunset at his warning lamp the fragrant hours and else else fairies who slept in birds the day yes now as oft he rises ha huh, as the beetle that produces humming sound wo beetle jo humming sound produce karta hai kab midst the twilight part in the evening when 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 the path is becoming dark yeah when the path has become dark because the sun has almost set yes the sun is about to set suraj jo hai ast ho raha hai ya hone wala hai isliye the path has become dark okay to us an wo us path pe since din bhar throughout the day you will fi find different kinds of activities going on people going and coming so many things so so insects like beetle or or or, or in the last stanza the poet talked about uh, weak eyed bat so these creatures can be seen or can be heard in the night only so as it is getting dark so these creatures are coming out and producing their peculiar sign sound as of he rises yes but this the twilight part yes the path is getting dark and as the beetle rises beetle goes upward and it pro produces its peculiar humming sound angest the pilgrim ha huh? when it sees when the beetle sees a pilgrim a passer by there is some passer by who is passing from there born in heedless hum but the passer by kaisa hai heedless but the passer by does not pay attention to the humming sound of the beetle 
वो पासर भाई जो वहाँ से गुजर रहा है वो उस बीटल की जो हमिंग साउंड है उसकी तरफ ध्यान नहीं देता तो वी कैन ऑल्सो हियर द हमिंग साउंड ऑफ द बीटल इन द इवनिंग इन दीज लाइन्स द पोइट इज टॉकिंग टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज विच वी कैन सी और विच वी कैन हियर इन द इवनिंग विच आर पिक्यूलियर टू इवनिंग Now teach me मेड कंपोज यस इन दिस लाइन द पोइट इज एड्रेसिंग इवनिंग एज अ कंपोज मेड और और अ सोवर मेडन यू कैन से एंड आस्क हर टू टीच हिम नाउ टीच मी यस द पोइट इज एड्रेसिंग इवनिंग एंड आस्किंग हर टू टीच हिम सो दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अर टीचिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अर गाइडेंस ही कैन to breathe some soft and strange instant music with the help of the evening the poet wishes or the poet expects the poet hopes to produce some soft music that will be in accordance with the time of the evening wo aisa music jo sham ke samay ke anukul hoga whose numbers is stealing through the darkening way ha ah, oh music which the poet produces with the help of the evening with the guidance of the evening whose numbers numbers musical notes and when the poet produces that music with the help of the evening the musical notes of the evening of that music stealing is spreading secretly वो बिल्कुल शांति से चुपके से कहा थ्रू द डार्किंग वेल वो वैली विच इज गेटिंग डार्क विच इज बिकमिंग डार्क बिकॉज द सन हैज सेट सूरज अस्त हो चुका है इसलिए वो वैली डार्क हो रही है तो उस वैली में उसका वो म्यूजिक विच ही एक्सपेक्ट टू प्रोड्यूस विद द हेल्प ऑफ इवनिंग विल स्प्रेड सीक्रेटली मे नॉट अनसेमली डबल नेगेटिव है अनसेमली मीन्स नॉट सुइटेबल और नॉट मीन्स सुइटेबल डबल नेगेटिव मीन्स पॉजिटिव मे नॉट अनसेमली विद इट्स स्टिलनेस सूट बट द म्यूजिक विच द पोइट क्रिएट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द इवनिंग एंड विच स्प्रेड्स इन द सीक्रेटली इन द वैली शुड बी इन एकॉर्डेंस शुड बी सुइटेबल to the silence of the valley silence of the evening evening ka jo time hai wo music evening ke us 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 jo stillness hai jo ek shanti hai jo gambhirta hai uske anukul honi chahiye as music slow i hail hail welcome thy genial love to return yes as the poet musing singing slowly musing singing as a poet is singing slowly and in his music he is hailing help welcome the poet welcomes the gentle return of evening which he loves loved the return of evening is loved sham wapas aayi hai kal aayi thi aaj fir wahi sham वापस आ रही है एंड द पोइट लवस द इवनिंग कैसे रिटर्न जीन जेंटल जेंटल रिटर्न ऑफ द इवनिंग द पोइट लवस एंड दैट इज वाई द पोइट इज वेलकमिंग द रिटर्न ऑफ द इवनिंग फॉर वेन द फोल्डिंग स्टार अराइजिंग शोज फोल्डिंग मीन्स विच फोल्ड्स द डे and indicates the arrival of the evening or night for who for when the folding star arising because the evening star when it arises yes when it arises in the sky it indicates that the day has come to an end and and, and the night is about to So the, in these lines, the poet is referring to the evening star. 
as of uh, sorry for when the folding is start arising for because because when the folding when the evening star arises it indicates jab sham ke samay wo tara wo evening star aasman mein dikhai deta hai <coughs> so it is an indication in itself that the evening the day has come to an end and it announces the arrival of the evening for when the uh, for when the folding star arising shows his pale circlet ha huh? circlet circle a small circle pale pale dim not very bright because uh, his pale because when it's pale dim dim circle is visible in the sky at his warning lamp the fragrant hours and else who slept in birds the day at his warning lamp as the star is visible in the sky the the arising the, the evening star is a kind of lamp which begins to shine in order to give a signal that the day has come to an end and that night is about to come the night is coming so it is a kind of warning at his warning lamp and as soon as the warning is received as soon as the evening star arises in the sky it gives a warning and as soon as it gives the warning the fragrant hours yes fragrant sweet smelling the poet is means to say that the poet the wo jo poet jo visualize kar raha hai hours ko personify kiya hai and he he means to say that wo hours sweet smelling hours sweet smelling day the hours of the day which were full of you can say fragrance and elves fairies eh huh? who slept in birds the day jo pure din kahin na kahin poet imagine kar raha hai jaise wo birds mein birds kaliyan phool phoolon mein din bhar soye rehte hai what poet means to say that during the day time people are busy in their domestic or or uh, family affairs not paying attention to anything natural but as soon as evening comes people stop their work come back to their folds and they begin to pay attention to the natural phenomena okay and many of Ah, oh, bahut sari nymph, many nymphs, many deities dwelling in trees, woods, rivers, streams, etc. Who wreaths her brows with sage? Sage is a kind of grass, a kind of grass growing on the banks of rivers and streams. What what can I? And many nymphs who who wear. who wear like garland the grass the says which is a kind of grass and share and shares the freshening dew and when they come out of the river and when they put on says and shares the freshening dew freshening dew oats freshening which make them look fresh and when they put on says on their foreheads to water drops begin to drop from their forehead unke jaise wo says lagate hain apne forehead pe to as unke forehead se us says se pani ki choti choti boone girne lagti hain aur aisa lagta hai un pani ki boondon se jaise ki wo bilkul abhi abhi bahar nikli hain aur bilkul tarotaaja लगती है एंड लवली आर स्टिल और इससे भी ज्यादा वट इज मोर लवली देन ऑल दिस 
the pensive pleasure sweet prepared by shadowika yes pensive set aur is sabse in sabse zyada jo jo in sabse zyada jo anand dayak in sabse zyada jo achhi baat hai wo hai pensive pleasure sweet ha pensive pleasure sweet pleasures pensive melancholic in nature but sweet because they are according to the time of evening इसलिए पेंसिल प्रपेयर दाई शेडो कार दिस पेंसिल प्लेजर्स प्रपेयर द चैरियट कार चैरियट ऑफ इवनिंग वो इवनिंग की उस चैरियट को तैयार करते हैं सो इन दिस लाइंस इन दिस लेक्चर आई डिस्कस टू थ्री और फोर स्टैंडर्स and in my last last next lecture sorry i will discuss some more stages thank you